Now we're on the racetrack, and it's the perfect place to get an overview of our three functions. Let's imagine the curve is divided into three parts. The first is the initial braking phase, where you're still on the straight and just start full braking with ABS. Our IBC function is active here. It seamlessly distributes the braking torque and adjusts the wheel slip perfectly. If we had an electric drive, we could also recuperate as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The second part is when you slowly release the brake and steer into the curve. Now our IVC function is active. It makes torque vectoring by braking each wheel individually. In an electric car, it would do electric torque vectoring. The rear wheel steering would already be active. It positions your car properly on the way to the apex, whether you prefer to understeer a little or if you're already skidding a bit. And the third part is the acceleration phase. Here, it's all about traction, and our ITC function is active. It controls the motor. In this car, the combustion engine, in an e-car, of course, the electric machine. But also the differentials that connect the drivetrain together, the central clutch on all-wheel drive vehicles, and locking differential like here on the rear axle of this vehicle. Yeah, that all sounds really good. Right, then let's try it out. Looking forward to it. It's really fast. It's really lethal. Yeah, you see? It's really lethal when the tires are cold, isn't it? Yeah, when you keep your foot on the gas, you go sideways right away. Okay, the traction control was off, and now I'd say you set the traction control at a comfortable level. Let's start with level 3. Set it yourself. Level 3, now? Yep. Okay. And we're off. You notice the control as soon as you accelerate. It's totally comfortable. Now you can accelerate directly at the apex of the corner. You can't skid at this setting. It's extremely safe. Let's try it again at the ant curve. That's a good one for traction control. Yeah. Because it's so wide. Let's see how it works there. Yeah, absolutely safe now. And now it's at full throttle. You can't even get the car to go sideways anymore. Right. So I don't need to worry at all anymore, right? Yeah. I step on the gas, it controls itself, so you don't assume it's going to swerve out. That's a safe feeling. But a little more power. Let's go more to the limit. Yeah. That's eight now, right? Yes. Now it's aggressive, but still controllable. You can actually keep your foot completely on the gas. Of course, you have to steer fast. Yeah, crazy. Now the back end turns in, skids, and then adjusts. Yeah. That means that you don't suddenly lose it too much, right? Right. We're practically trying to keep the momentum going like the driver would want. So you come out of the curve fast and slightly sideways and with a lot of traction and propulsion. So now we've gotten to know the traction control. Let's look at how the car behaves while braking. I already noticed during braking that the controller at the back tries to stabilize the car. But then there's a little too much understeering at the apex. Right, and for that we have our IVC function. We have it here in four different levels. And now please set it higher at the master level and you'll see we're a bit more agile when we break into the turn and that you manage this transition faster. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, now we're a little more agile, aren't we? Now the understeering is really gone. Yeah, the car comes into the curve ideally. Yeah, now we come into it better, right? Yeah, now it's moving. There's no more understeering. 
Yeah, but if the setting's too much, then we could go back one or two levels. Try it out. Try it on Pro, if you like that better. Okay. Basic, advanced, pro. Right. Let's try it. Perfect. Now it was the way it should be, right? For you, for me, for my driving style. It's the better balance. Yeah, master is not always the correct setting. It's important to find the right setting depending on the tires and the track. Sure. So when you're braking and turning in, you think next time you can turn it up a notch, right? Since the control system does it all for you. Yes, it ultimately just helps make you faster. 